This is Steve with Steamaway, and today we're here going to show you on the wash water recovery. And my job here is driver and helper for Armando Ramirez on Crew 3. We're washing trailers and we're going to try to prevent water from going down to that storm drain down there. Today we got this foam pad, three sandbags, and a water vacuum suck up hose. And the purpose of this. So that way we recapture as much water as possible to keep it from going down into the drain and everything that goes into the drain goes into our creeks and rivers and we don't want that. So our job today is to recapture as much water as possible. And if you see your water is passing your, your, uh, your sandbags, you can always move it from side to side or further back just to keep it from going into that storm drain. First thing you want to check on uh, water recovery is to identify where your storm drains at and our drains right there second you want to identify on the, the direction the water is flowing it's really important to identify on the flow of the water <clears throat> so that way it don't pass your vacuum hose because if it goes into that storm drain one you get a big ticket two you can lose your license and three it'll have an effect on the the creek water and lakes or wherever this water is going through into the, the storm ditch. So the first thing you want to do is put your, your rubber mat, your sandbags, your vacuum hose, and you want to follow the direction on which way the water is going. So in order to do that, it just be kind of careful when the water is coming. And like I said, you know, just got to move it from side to side. Now, as you can see, we got water flowing coming towards this way. So we're going to walk down this way. And as you can see, we got water trail already coming and it's pretty much lined up where I got our vacuum and our sandbag. So the next thing is just to be real careful when this water's coming down so that way it don't go past our sandbags and down into the ditch. Another thing too, while you're doing wash water recovery, if you're getting a lot of debris coming towards your vacuum and your sandbags, always try to keep this clean right here are free of any debris because once these holes get clogged up with a lot of trash or sticks or whatever it is your filter that's inside the, the truck is going to get clogged up and once that gets clogged up this vacuum is not going to suck like the way it's supposed to and then all your dirty water is going to pass and go down into the storm ditch so it's always good to have an extra filter in your truck so if it gets clogged up, you can go uncap it, put a, a new one in that's clean and re-screw your cap and it'll start working properly again. As you can see, we got a pretty good flow of water coming down here. Uh, the sandbags, the black rubber mats working, the vacuum's working. It's been recapturing water for about a good 10, 15 minutes. And as you can see, we ain't got no water going past this. So vacuum's pretty much doing its job. So from here, once you start recapturing your water, it runs into here into this hose and it goes into a 55 gallon uh, barrel drum and then once from there it'll shoot into our overfill tank but we'll, I'll show you that part once we cut the machines off. As we were talking about before uh, recapturing the water it'll capture it there runs through this hose <coughs> through the filter comes into this big barrel once this big barrel is full it'll shoot the rest of your dirty water into this big tank here and that's pretty much it uh, just remember you got a full tank clean it clean this out as long as this stays clean it'll hold a lot of water for you but well, if it's not it's going to transfer water real quick and that's pretty much it right here this filter is the filter i was talking about earlier once the filter inside here gets clogged up your, vac your vacuum is not going to suck up water anymore. That's when you're going to get a lot of water passing your, your sandbags. So always keep an extra filter in your truck. If it gets filled up, take this off, put a new one, turn your machine back on. It'll start recapturing water for you again. I hope this video was helpful today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell and smash that like button. And remember, keep calm and wash on.